हेलो गाइस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अबाउट आवर मॉड्यूल दैट इज परचेस क्वालिटी इंस्पेक्शन सो बेसिकली एज इट्स नेम सजेस्ट दिस मॉड्यूल इज बेसिकली यूज्ड टू डू द क्वालिटी टेस्टिंग फॉर इनकमिंग प्रोडक्ट्स विथ डिटेल्ड पैरामीटर्स सो एज यू कैन सी दैट द फीचर्स लिस्ट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ओवर हियर that we can also define the multiple quality inspection uh, uh, for dif uh, with different different kinds of configurations and with the parameters also there are various kinds of configurations are provided with uh, for uh, uh, you know less detail and m more detail like of quality testing uh, we can also uh, give the reconfirmation and appropriate suggestions and also write down the notes regarding the regarding quality control points we can also generate the quality alerts and uh, there are two options are given uh, to 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 generate manual quality alerts as well as automatic quality alerts okay uh, we can uh, generate uh, the quality inspection uh, with this module uh, when a quality alert will be generated and uh, an alert email can be also sent uh, to the respected uh, uh, person uh, and uh, we can also restrict Uh, we, we can also give the restriction while uh, quality check so if the quality check will be failed then we can also uh, pause the process in between um, uh, during the reception process all right so let's have a look at the module functionality so as you can see that right now i am uh, here at uh, the quality quality dashboard so basically we have provided uh, the configuration for uh, quality alert teams and the quality reason we have also provided uh, the settings we have also provided over here so basically by going to settings part users will be able to configure different uh, kind of settings like allow to modify the control point allow detailed quality inspection so th if th they want they can also enable this okay uh, uh, this is the second configuration like uh, uh, quality Uh, quality con control alert teams so we can define multiple kinds of teams like uh, as you can see that the functional team the technical team as per the business flow of yours you can define different kinds of uh, quality control teams over here and you can also define the team leader and uh, based on this you can define the email alias like uh, like let's like say alert at the rate your company domain dot com right so as per defined email alias the, the the respected email will be also sent to the respective uh, person as well all right you can also define the quality reason so if any kind of quality control point will be failed then you can also define that the, the reason for that like whether the product is the defective or broken or different scratches are there or any dent is there like this so there is an open configuration that we have provided so according to your business flow you can also set it okay now let's uh, go to the dashboard again and you, you you will be able to see that there are multiple teams are defined over here so based on these teams uh, when any quality control point will be assigned to them so you will be directly able to see that and manage each and every process regarding this uh, quality control team directly from the dashboard part all right you can also will be able to see the quality alerts that is uh, generated uh, for uh, this team okay uh, you will be also able to see over you will be also able to change the color if you want and uh, you know like this and you can also go to the settings part that is basically the configuration part of the quality team basically all right now uh, let's go to the quality controls so you will be able to see that we can also define the control points so as you can see i have already defined uh, control point over here like cabinet with doors so i have taken over here the product uh, you can also define the respected the product variant in case of any product variant functionality and when one product will have different kind of attributes available there okay uh, you can define over here operation for uh, the receipts uh, while while uh, uh, you know when you will purchase any kind of uh, product then you will define this uh, operation as a receipt uh, now basically automatic generate quality alert so basically this what this functionality will do uh, it will automatically generate the quality alert if uh, any quality inspection will be failed okay 
uh, when this option will be unticked then you the, the the respected user has to manually create the quality alert okay now uh, when we will enable this option the failure reason will be automatically uh, you know give give here uh, when it when it is defined from the configuration part so user will be also able to select that particular uh, failure reason if they want to also assign multiple failure reason then we can uh, then uh, the user can also do that okay here uh, the user can define the version like one uh, you know 1.1 uh, 2.1 3.1 1, like that and uh, th this version will be quite useful for uh, the user when for any one product uh, he wants to define multiple kinds of uh, quality control point at different different uh, date and time durations okay now uh, here the user will define the quality control team that which actually uh, which team is maintaining this quality control checkpoint and who will be the responsible person for that okay now in case of multi company scenario also you can use our module that is quality control point and here the user will define the sequence like 1 2 3 so based on that uh, uh, this uh, uh, you know the sequence will be defined basically for the respected quality control point now here the option is provided like is restrict so uh, basically uh, when uh, it will be unticked then uh, when any kind of uh, quality inspection uh, point will be uh, when any kind of quality ins uh, quality inspection will be failed then the system will allow to move ahead but when it will be enabled then when any quality inspection will be failed then the system will not allow to move ahead okay now uh, this is the the configuration named detailed quality inspection so when this will be unticked then the system will allow to check the quality of the product in between the process is going on and when uh, this uh, option will be ticked then after the process and the quality control the, the quality testing process uh, will begin all right now here you will be able to see that uh, i have defined the quality control uh, point lines like this so here there are various kinds of uh, testing type we have provided like choice you know measurement image choice text okay and the control type is also defined like whether you want to define this quality control for all the operations or uh, uh, randomly so when clicking on the randomly option that this particular quality control will be defined on any random process and when i will define it periodically then we have to define the control uh, the control frequency uh, frequency and the limit also so basically based on that this quality control point will be defined all right now here you have to write down the instructions like uh, i have defined like quality test of choice and in case of any message failure uh, user has to also define that this message like quality test is failed okay so here in this uh, selection type the the system will give me a choice like uh, either you have to pass this quality testing or uh, you have to fail this quality testing all right uh, now second i have uh, uh, created as a testing type of measure so here i have to define the norm like uh, just for one example i have defined like 3 and the tolerance i have to define like uh, 3 to 4 so when any uh, product tolerance will be in between this then the system will allow uh, and and pass this this respected quality control uh, testing otherwise not okay now uh, finally uh, here the testing type i have defined as an image so when it will be image then the user has to upload a particular image of the product uh, to see that the, the that the quality control is uh, perfectly done right and uh, the last is also here like uh, the, the last test type is text so uh, they uh, in which the user has to define the text messages like this like this all right so this is uh, related to the configuration part okay of the quality control and based on this whatever quality inspections uh, will be automatically created so it will be re redirected over here and the quality alert so in this quality alerts basically uh, the user will be able to define uh, uh, the you know uh, the corrective actions uh, the, the, uh, the basically the reason for that and after that the user will be also able to define the corrective actions and preventive actions and also the description for that so that uh, it, it will be a one kind of knowledge base for upcoming uh, team so uh, in future uh, they can reduce this quality fail problem as well okay all right now let's take an example uh, let me go to the purchase uh, 
let me create a purchase order okay let's take uh, five quantity all right let me save this okay let me confirm this receipt is generated okay all right now in the operations uh, tab you will be able to see the quality inspections button here is here now i am generating uh, quality inspection so you can see the first thing is that quality test is choice so let me just pass it okay the tolerance i am just defining uh, between 3 to 4 so i am defining uh, other kind of tolerance okay so like c 4.5 i have defined that is outer part of this so validate so you can be able to see quality test is failed so if i want to correct the measure again so i can also uh, correct it or as confirm measure so confirm measure and the third part is to upload an image so i will upload this image cabinet with doors and will click on pass all right now here you will be able to see that as i have already enabled automatic quality alerts uh, here so you can see that automatically one quality alert is generated and when i will go to the let's see the inspections part so i will also able to see the re related summary that uh, test 1 is passed test 2 is failed uh, test 3 is also passed okay and if uh, if i will uh, click on validate and you will be able to see that the system has restricted me kindly check the quality inspection for this and uh, this product and it should be passed okay now i will just go uh, to to make it recorrection so uh, for this i will just define that okay like uh, corrective actions one and then i will define uh, these actions whatever actions will be there and also the preventive actions Event you actions. Sorry, event you actions. One, two, three, two, and three. Okay, and I will just define the description also. Quality control alert. Okay, and I will define it like it is resolved. I'm just recorrecting this quality inspection. All right, and now I will again go here and we'll go to the inspections part, and I will also able to see the pass or fail for the whole quality inspection. So for this, we have also defined, um, uh, you know, the security rights for that. So when it will be enabled, only a special permission is allocated to the respective user. Then and then only he will be able to do that. Otherwise, not. Okay. So I will just pass this. Okay, you, you will be able to see. Okay, and after this, I will uh, validate this. Now you can see that the system is allowing me to proceed further on. Okay, now I will click on apply, and that's it. These uh, five products uh, is successfully uh, came into my stock. All right. Let me just go to this product cabinet with doors. Okay, cabinet with doors. And you will be able to see that total updated uh, on hand quantity is here. so like this basically this is uh, uh, an overview that i have given to you um, that how our quality control module for purchase is working here and whatever uh, these quality inspections uh, were generated from the received part you will be also able to manage it manage those all from here you can see that okay so that's all about our quality control module for purchase uh, quality inspection if you will have any kind of query or confusion then please do not hesitate to contact us thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day bye take care